This morning, before the committee convened, Chief Counsel John Doar got a phone call from presidential lawyer James St. Clair offering a last-minute compromise. The president would consider turning over most but not all of the material if the committee didn't subpoena. After a few partisan votes on amendments and a compromise dealing with some specific conversations with White House aides was reached, the subpoena was finally voted. Chairman Rodino was pleased with the outcome. We had specified all along that we were going to be fair, and I believe all of the members of the committee had uh, already indicated that they felt this information, this evidence, uh, is necessary to the inquiry. There, of course, uh, are always differences of opinion as to how to discharge a duty uh, when you have 38 members, but I think that after having talked about it and having shown that uh, we were being fair and responsible, that. Uh, the majority of the members, the overwhelming majority of the members, felt that this was the only thing we could responsibly do. Mr. Well, Chairman, how, how uh, confident are you that the White House now will not only respond but comply with the subpoena? I'm just hopeful that the White House will comply. All we can do is discharge our responsibility. We felt that uh, it was necessary in the light of the 45 days delay that uh, we make uh, our uh, feelings known through the subpoena. Uh, we had not been given any uh, material at all outside of the 19 tapes and the 700 documents that had originally been given to Mr. Jaworski. And uh, this is a demand that is proper, that is appropriate, in accordance with uh, uh, our uh, having to discharge the responsibility as the resolution provides that we get that material that is necessary.